Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for October 8th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you all are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Taurus, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, we're just going to do a past, present, future read, okay? Hope you guys are having a good month of October already. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus today, please. Show me that Taurus energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus today, please. All right. <clears throat> All right. Starting out, you have the Queen of Cups and the reversal here, Taurus. Okay, so this is like unhappiness. It could be that someone is unhappy with you. It could be that you are unhappy with someone. Okay, it can also represent uh, someone that is emotionally manipulative or uh, someone that is... Um, I already said it. Unhappy. I keep doing that. Okay. Uh, depressed as well. Okay. Clarify the present situation for Taurus, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angels. Let me do the past and the present first. I mean, future, past, and the future. Okay. Show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus in the present situation. Holy Spirit and Holy Angels. Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the Seven of Swords and the Reversal. Okay. Um, this could be that you are upset with someone, okay? Queen of Cups in the reversal here, Taurus. You could be upset with someone about finding something out that you did not want to find out about, okay? I wouldn't say necessarily you didn't want to find out about it. It's probably good to know. <clears throat> Seven of Swords is like uncovering of plots and conspiracies. Um, or, you know, Seven of Swords in the upright is lying, cheating, or stealing. So it could be that you're finding out about something that possibly... Um, excuse me, possibly that you don't want to know about or that you um, don't want to hear, okay? Somebody could have done something wrong that you're finding out about. Clarify the present situation for Taurus. You have the high priestess in the reversal, which means that someone was trying to keep this hidden from you. They didn't want you to know about it, okay? Whatever it is. Um, it could also represent confusion, so you could be confused as to why uh, something went down here, why someone did something that you found out about. You have the Five of Swords, and it has something to do with control. Very heavy um, Aquarius energy here and Pisces. Um, you also have Cancer and Scorpio, but very heavy Aquarius with the Five and the Seven of Swords. So uh, Five of Swords is someone that has a big ego. Okay, this is a controlling person, someone that um, wants to keep or gain control over a situation. So it looks like somebody did something uh, wrong to you here, Taurus, in the present situation. Um, they tried to keep it hidden from you try to keep it hidden from you and uh they it could be something that whatever it is uh you found out about and is un you are unhappy about okay it can be vice versa but it looks like it's about um you being unhappy about finding this out whatever this is clarify the present situation for taurus please holy spirit and holy angel show me the cards that i need to see what is going on for taurus in the present situation what's going on right now for taurus one two, three, four okay Five of Swords in the Reversal. Yeah. This is an end to subjugation, freedom from oppression. So you have the Five of Swords in the Reversal clarifying the Five of Swords in the Upright, which means that whatever this person tried to do in order to kind of gain some kind of upper hand on control over you or control over a situation, it didn't work, okay? Uh, it looks like the only thing happened here, Taurus, is you found out about whatever it is that they did or are trying to do, and you put an end to it, okay? You have the Ten of Wands in the Reversal. This is a weight or a burden being lifted off of your shoulders okay um i feel like the i feel like finding out about it is probably the weight or the burden that's lifted off of your shoulders here because uh it doesn't look like i feel like this person was coming up to you and trying to be seen as someone that is genuine okay but i feel like that's not the case here they're definitely um using some kind of tactic in order to uh gain some kind of control over you you have the seven of pentacles and the reversal so 
Uh, I, you know, it's not even really coming through this way with the cards, but it feels overall, Taurus, like it might be a relationship, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. For some of you, it is, okay? But if it's not a romantic connection, it's someone that you, uh, like, have some kind of connection with, like, family or maybe a friend, like a long-term friend, okay? But for others of you, it is a romantic connection, all right? You have the Seven of Pentacles in the reversal, which means that uh, you have someone saying here that you have something worthwhile, you have something that you will miss dearly if you let it die off, okay? And that's like the, them trying to use your emotions against you here, Taurus, okay? Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles and the reversal as well, it could be that you're feeling like you're at a waste, a waste of time, waste of effort, just waste of money even, okay? Uh, like you, you're getting no reward for putting effort into this, okay? You have the lovers and the reversal, bam, okay, so... Can't make it up. <laughs> the lovers in the reversal is like a separation of two people, you know, that uh, have a lot of love for each other or had a lot of love for each other at one time. So you have this separation going on here. Um, and it could be frustration over a separation too, Taurus, because I feel like, like I said, I feel like you might be feeling like you're at a waste. That seven of pentacles is Taurus energy, okay? Maybe you really wanted this to turn out differently and it just didn't. So let's get one more for Taurus to pull it all together. Justice in the reversal. Yeah, you feel like this is unjustified. You feel like um, this is not something that you deserve, which is probably true. And if you found out about it and you put an end to it here, this is, um, I would say, this would, this would be you um, really st uh, standing by your boundaries, okay? You've set your boundaries firmly here. Now someone has tried to do something underhanded to cross your boundaries and you're saying, no, I'm not dealing with that, okay? And you pulled your energy back is what it looks like here. You could be feeling like you're at a waste, but I don't think that this would have turned out. Um, the, it wouldn't have turned out this way if the other person was being honest with you, if they were being upfront, okay? Even if they were doing something differently, it wouldn't have turned out this way. So in the past leading up to this moment, Taurus, you have the five of pentacles in the reversal, okay? Five of pentacles in the reversal is uh, money regained after severe toil. It's like gaining something back here. It doesn't have to be money necessarily it can be okay but it's something that you are getting back okay clarify the past situation for taurus please you have the magician okay the magician is manifesting something from nothing okay this is you utilizing the resources that you already have in order to get to where you want to be or get something that you want you're manifesting here it can also be a card of obstacles that are placed in your path by spirit to see how you respond to these obstacles okay Clarify, you have the sun and the reversal, okay? Uh, this could be a little bit of unhappiness, all right? I feel like you are getting something back. You are manifesting here. I feel like the sun card in this position here in the past for you, Taurus, would be more like a little bit of like an imposter syndrome, okay? Imposter syndrome is feeling like you don't deserve what it is that you are getting, okay? And um, in this indication for me, Taurus, you do deserve everything that you're getting. It may just not feel that way. Okay, maybe you've uh, dealt with people in the past that say that you don't deserve it whenever you get something uh, that is working out for you or um, you might personally for um, inner turmoil or trauma from your childhood might feel like you don't deserve it, but it looks like you do, okay? If it's not that, you know, it could also be that there is someone around you, Taurus, that is unhappy with what you are manifesting. It's like you're growing possibly without a person here and uh, they're upset about it. It could be that as well. You have the Three of Swords, so yeah, that's actually pretty clear here. You have someone that's in a heartbreak uh, situation over you, Taurus, okay? It looks like you're manifesting, you're getting things back after you went through like a, a pretty uh, problematic time period here, and you have someone that is unhappy, and they're heartbroken over you, okay? I feel like for some of you, you might even be uh, heartbroken over a person, okay? But it's like you're working through this heartbreak if that is the case, okay? And for most of you, I really feel like it's another person that's heartbroken over you. I'm just going to say it, say it like it is, okay? But that's what's coming through for me here, okay? Because the five of pentacles is Taurus energy, which is money regained after severe toil or like being brought back in out of the cold, okay? Holy Spirit and Holy Angels, clarify this past situation for Taurus, please. Show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus in the past position, please. Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. There we go. You have the Three of Pentacles in the reversal, the Two of Wands, the Five of Cups reversed, and the High Priestess, okay? Three of Pentacles in the reversal is like someone that has low quality or like mediocre work ethic. It could also be uh, someone that is sloppy or does not cooperate very well with you. 
I, I kind of feel that way throughout the, you know, in the present situation and in the past here for you, Taurus, it's like you're having to be around someone that is just kind of like a sloppy person or someone that doesn't work very well, okay? Uh, you have the Two of Wands, which is a card of planning, which I would say that this manifestation that you have uh, coming in for you here in the past, Taurus, is based on planning that you have done. You have the High Priestess, which is your inner knowing, your intuition on point. It's you trusting yourself first. And then you have the Five of Cups in the reversal, which means that you are healing or recovering from something. It's like you're you're having a, a flip-flop here, okay? You got a person here that's upset or hurt over you, heartbroken over you, and you're like recovering or healing from that and manifesting. And they're looking at you and they're saying, why can't I be where Taurus is? I'm, a, I'm upset. I'm unhappy. Okay, it's because they haven't really been trying to work on themselves, I would say. Let's get one more for Taurus in the past to pull it all together. You have the Sun card in the upright. Very clear, very clear here, Taurus, okay? The Sun card in the upright is success, usually after struggle. It also says on the card, success lies ahead if you keep to the path, okay? So it's like someone else is seeing you progressing and they're seeing you level up and move forward and they're unhappy because they're comparing themselves to you, okay? Um, overall, looks really good for you in the past, especially with the recovering here. You're, you're healing from something, okay? In the future, you have the Queen of Wands in the upright position. Okay, this is you... Um, this is you being able to always rely on your natural confidence, okay? You could be learning something new here in the future, Taurus, or doing or doing something new. Okay, this means with the Queen of Wands in the upright position that you're at risk of being burned, okay? And the reason you're at risk of being burned is because you're kind of learning as you go, okay? But it's not a bad thing. You have the natural confidence to be able to get through it, okay? Clarify the future for Taurus. You have the Knight of Cups. You might have a new person coming in for you as well, Taurus. The Knight of Cups is like a knight in shining armor, okay? Uh, some of you might have started a relationship recently, okay, and it kind of progresses into something more important here in the future. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. Queen of Pentacles, very powerful position for you to show up in here, Taurus, okay, this is you uh, understanding your beliefs, your values, your boundaries, and your abundance, okay? Focusing on that, understanding that, knowing what you want and where you want to be. Let's get one more for Taurus in the future. You have the Empress, wow, four very good cards, okay? The Empress is actually Taurus energy as well as Taurus and Libra. So with the Empress here, this is you having stability, resources, okay, people that are willing to help you. You have um, people around you willing to help you. And it's also a card of fertility, which means, and this is a very, spe very specific message here, Taurus, that for some of you, if you have a new person coming in, it could lead to uh, something more important later down the line as far as like uh, expanding your family, okay? to say that in the most awkward way possible. <laughs> so clarify the future for Taurus today, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarifying the future for Taurus today. Show me that Taurus energy. One, two, three, four. Okay, what is this one? You have the Eight of Pentacles. So working very hard at this time. Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. This is a card of work, 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 work. So it's not, it's like you're not slowing down in your work aspect. You're still keeping that up in order to maintain your um, manifestation. Clarify the future for Taurus. Anything else we need to see? Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. You have the five of pentacles. Someone's going to be feeling left out in the cold by you, Taurus. Now, five of pentacles is Taurus energy, but in this indication here, especially with the queen of pentacles out here, Taurus, it looks like someone's feeling left out in the cold by you. It's most likely, I would say, the same person here in the past, but even if it's not that person, it's like people around you see you leveling up and progressing so quickly, and you have other people around you that are also leveling and uh, growing with you. That's making other people feel left out, especially if maybe you were friends with the person or if it's people in your family that aren't on the same level as you, Taurus. You have the emperor in the reversal. It could be an Aries, all right, or someone that um, has bad leadership skills, okay? Could be someone that is unreasonable or overbearing, uh, maybe immature, okay? You have people around you like that haven't done really the shadow work to work on themselves that are kind of comparing themselves to you. And I feel like, you know, you have that in the past. You have that in the future here, Taurus. It could be the same person, but it doesn't have to be. It could be other people around you. Let me get one more for Taurus, please. Page of Pentacles, okay? This is like an opportunity coming in, okay? It says, focus on your goals to bring great success. For some of you, it could be someone that you have a kid with, with the Empress and the Page of Pentacles out here. Um, doesn't have to be, okay? But if you have like a, a baby mama or a baby daddy, or something like that, that you are separated from, they could be really uh, heavily comparing themselves to you. 
Um, if not, I feel like this is the a strong indication, Taurus, that you're just focusing on where you want to be and that's why you are manifesting so quickly. You have someone that's comparing themselves to you and that's why they keep feeling like left out, okay? But if they just focus on themselves like you are, they would be uh, a lot closer to where they need to be, okay? Let's get one more for Taurus to pull it all together. Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me. Ten of Pentacles is like stability. It is the pinnacle of success. It is uh, representational of generational wealth. If you do have a new love connection that's coming in for you, even if you have somebody that's upset or jealous about it, feeling left out, you have something that you can really build with here, Taurus. Even if it's just you being there for yourself instead of a, a new relationship, you could uh, really be building something that will uh, last for a long time here. All right, some kind of generational wealth. Um, very good prosperity and family card, okay? Really good outcome here for you, Taurus. Okay, I really like this future situation. Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you. Okay, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus today, please. If you guys haven't done it yet, hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus today, please. You need to make a choice. Okay, so this is not coming out in the reading. This is a specific message for someone, okay? There's some kind of choice that needs to be made here, all right? Take your time when deciding, but you might, you might need to make a choice. Ooh, okay. You already have everything you need. That's uh, representational of the magician card, all right? You already have everything that you need in order to make a decision or to uh, manifest something here. Taurus, okay, why is this one backwards? All right. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus today, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angels, one, two, three, four. You have made the right choice. Okay, so if you've already made the choice here, Taurus, it says you need to make a choice. You already have everything you need. And then it says you have made the right choice. So for those of you that have already made a choice here, Taurus, you have made the right choice. If like in your mind you made the choice, but you haven't made it clear here yet, Taurus, then the choice that you are thinking is the right choice, okay? We have Earth Enthusiasts. Some of you might be an Earth Enthusiast. If so, good for you. Check out Get the Bag Challenge on TikTok. Hashtag Get the Bag Challenge. It's a challenge that I do. I created it. Okay, what else for Taurus today, please? We have no bueno. Okay, something here not good. All right, somebody sees you as having everything you need as something that is no bueno. Okay, they're like, oh shit, Taurus doesn't need me anymore. Listen, Big Bubba Mac. You might have somebody that wants you to listen to them or you want someone to listen to you. Taurus, every time I get a listen or a pay attention card, I pull three cards from the back. We have Virgo. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or you might have Virgo somewhere in your chart. We have snake. You got some, you got somebody that's a snake in your energy here, Taurus. All right, it's the person that doesn't think that you having everything that you need is a good thing. Whoever doesn't think that's a good thing is a snake. All right, I guess it's right right in order. You have I. Someone's first middle or last name can start with an I. Yours or theirs or something like this. Clarify for Big Bubba Mac. We have two twelve. Focus on yourself and remember that your guardian angels are there to support you. You could be seeing two twelve a lot, Taurus. Okay. What else for Taurus today, please? One, two, three, four. It's not the end all be all. So it's not the end of the world. Whatever's going on here for you, Taurus, it is not the end of the world, okay? It's not the end all be all, okay? It's too late to apologize. So it's too late for someone to apologize here, Taurus, okay? Somebody might have done something they can't apologize for now. We have past, maybe someone from your past here. It's too late for them to apologize, okay? Let's get one more for Taurus to pull it all together, please. One, two, three, four. Get your poop in a group. Yeah, some of you are being guided to get yours together, or for some of you, you're already doing that, okay? Getting your poop in a group, so. Very good reading here for you, Taurus, okay? All right, Taurus, if you would like to book a personal, all the information about that is in the description box below, and anything else you need to know about me will be down there as well, okay? Usually I do Taurus readings on Monday, so be sure to come back next Monday for another reading from myself. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.